So the first thing you're going to do is hit all the sculpting muscles, the mirror muscles, the arms, the shoulders, the glutes and everything, the upper back, right? So I want you to go grab your band, right? Position a chair or something you can hold on to. So you've got that chair over there. And now watch this. I'm going to turn, turn, and turn. Just enough resistance where I can actually put one hand on the chair and the other elbow to the side. You see this? And then you want to shrug that shoulder down. Now, if you pay attention, my back is straight and I'm actually literally just extending that elbow out and slowly bring it down. Now, it's got to be slow, it's got to be controlled, and it's got to be paced, right? So once again, one hand here, elbow tucked in, extend it out, slip. Elbows tucked in, chest up. That whole elbow by the rib cage fixed position is the most crucial aspect of this. You see that? So you've got to get that elbow fixed, perfect. And then you want to slowly feel that muscle. This is where you connect your mind and body and muscle. So mind, body, muscle. We're going to go for 15 reps per arm. And at the end of 15 reps, you want to ask yourself, hey, am I actually feeling the back of the arms? Oh, I'm feeling it. Perfect. I've got about seven left for me. All right. Four, three, two, one. So when you've done that arm, I want you to switch to the other arm. 15, right? Yeah, 15 per arm, and then I'm going to show you what to do with a complementary exercise for that. Now, obviously, if you need more resistance, twirl it more, but I, I don't recommend too much resistance because you compensate with form. Once again, elbow's got it tucked in. And you gotta put that mind-muscle connection. So we're gonna do about three sets of each, just to make sure we get a nice little pump. You can, you can squeeze your shoulder blades a little bit more in, so you refrain from slouching that posture. There you go, perfect. Once you get to a point where you're really feeling the burn, stimulating that region, you're going to notice it's going to be easier like in a few weeks from now to get right to it. 15, right? 1 5. Okay, so here's where the secret comes in. I want you to get onto the chair and do dips with me. Because the dips is further going to go into that, that arm muscle. Now, you're going to do it on my count. Which means we're going to go nice and steady, nice and slow. Alright, squeeze your chest up, shoulder blades in, real slow. Ready? Looking straight. One. Two. Three. Don't rush it. Four, five, six, Ooh, feeling the burn, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, ooh, ooh. Tell me you felt the tricep. I did. Okay, so now we're gonna open this up. Grab onto the band again. Position the, the elbows to the, to the side of the hip, like this, okay? Squeeze the shoulder blade. Your posture's gotta be completely straight. At this point, you're going to move laterally. Remember, I'm not moving the elbows. See that? So what, it, what it's really doing for you is engaging your shoulder blades and a muscle called your rotator cuff. Small muscle 
We're going to do 20 of these. Ten more. Okay. That's twenty of you. We're gonna go back to round two for the arms. We do fifteen here. Okay, remember, elbow tucked in, and contract. So I think, just to be honest, I think two sets of, or two combination of this circuit is plenty for the tricep because three would be overdoing it. So we'll just do two and then we'll move forward, okay? Okay. But remember, form's got to be perfect. Downsize the reps from 15 to 12 because these are very slow. You said 12? Yeah, yeah. The goal is not to kill ourselves, the goal is to sculpt ourselves. Okay, coaches count. Posture straight, chest up, shoulder blades in, belly button engaged, and then in. And one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Tell me about the activation of the back of the arms. Oh, I felt it. <laughs> okay. Once again, we're gonna open up the front of the body. So we need the rotated cuff for 20. Grab onto the band. <clears throat> How many of these? You said 20? 20, yeah. Get the elbows placed in. It's a lateral movement, posture in. I've noticed your posture's gotten better. Engaged, posture back, chest up. I'm just putting this underneath my 
Am I folding it? Only if you need the resistance, because this is the motion we're going to do. See how hard that is? Look at the engagement of the shoulder muscles. So I'm going to make the exercise a little bit lighter because we're going to go for 12 reps. Okay. Let's engage the core. Remember that I told you that the wrist has to be lower than the elbow? You see that? The wrist has to be lower than the elbow. Most people, when, when you drop the elbow, bad. See? You gotta put your brain right here. Twelve total. Stretch it out. How many? Twelve. How many? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Did you feel the shoulder muscle? I felt it back here, yeah. Yeah, that's the shoulder muscle. That's the delta. Alright, switch. All right, tell me you felt that. I did. I hope I'm doing it right. Let me tell you, you're far better than before on that particular exercise. That's a very tough exercise because I see in the gym, everyone's doing it the wrong way, right? You're doing it the right way. You just keep getting better. Does that make sense? Okay. You just have to get more precise with it as you get more experience with that exercise. Okay, so now we're going to do seated rows. I want you to grab onto a intermediate resistance, position the, the band on your feet, shrug the shoulder down. We're going to do the slow 20 rep underhand. One, squeeze. Two, squeeze. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, squeeze, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Where did you feel that? Back. Okay, so you succeeded. Now, let's go back to the shoulders. <clears throat> I'm going to show you something interesting. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll give you the lateral or the side profile. So, same exercise. If you look, while my posture is straight, I'm going at an angle, just a slight diagonal angle. It's not completely lateral, it's just a little bit on an angle. See that? And if you, if you once again, the most important exercise, part of this exercise is the elbow has to be higher than the wrist. Okay? Okay? 12.
That's the part I don't know if I'm doing. I don't know if my wrist seems like it goes with the elbow. No, 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 back. no, no. Let's rephrase that expression. Your elbow has got to be higher than the wrist. Right, okay, so the elbow has to be higher, but I feel like for me to push it up, my wrist goes higher than the elbow, see? No, no, that, lo that looks good. It looks good? Yeah, that looks good. Okay. <clears throat> How many? Twelve. Eight. Nine. <clears throat> it's a very technical exercise. Okay, go. Seated rows with intermediate band. Twenty. We're gonna go for twenty-two. Twenty-two. Coaches count. <clears throat> All right, row three, chest up, shoulder blades in. Two. One. Two. I want you to do focus extra on engaging everything on the upper back. See, I'm actually holding it for a fraction of a second, see? That's a freeze, slow release. A freeze, slow release. On the 20th one, or the 22nd one, I want you to hold it with me. And just keep holding and engaging. It's called an isometric hold. Keep Shrug the shoulders out for me, shrug them down. Keep holding it, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Give me another five reps, okay. Four, three, two, one. Get ready, hold it, hold. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Oof. Okay. How much of a muscle activation did you feel with that isometric hold and then five dynamic? Isometric hold and five, five dynamic. I, I felt it all in my, in between my shoulder blades and back. Okay. So next we're going to do push-ups. Now these are the, once again, these are the slow ones. And your entire purpose is pec, pec, a little bit of the tricep, a little bit of the shoulder. Of course, you're going to do it on my count, okay? <clears throat> Goal is to do 15 with muscle activation. Coaches count, cross your legs, shoulder blades in, real slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So you've got to tell me how much muscle activation you felt in the pecs and everywhere, everywhere else. Yeah, I felt it. I feel a lot between my shoulder blades, but I felt it here. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the rotator cuff or the band for 20 reps. So grab onto that band, get the elbow tucked in, belly button in. This is a lateral one. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Whew, fourteen, squeeze, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. Okay, so at this point, you're gonna do 20 for your hamstrings on the slaughters. Get those over with, and we're gonna go back to uh, back training and chest training. Let's see what you got. Remember, you want to activate the back of the legs as much as possible for every rep. It's about doing it right. How much activation do you feel? I feel it. Okay. Bring it home. Hmm. How many more? 20, right? Yeah. Okay, yep. okay, so you remember how we did the seated rows with the palm down a few weeks ago or a month ago? Seated rows with the palm down? Instead of palm up, palm down. Okay. Remember that variation sometimes activates your neck muscles and we're trying to keep it in the shoulder and the back, not in the neck. Okay. Let me give you a reminder. Okay, so yes. this, this, this is palm down, right? The problem with this variation, whether you do it at the gym or with the resistance bands, is when you pull, the benefit in it works the back of your shoulder is known as a posterior deltoid. And then your, your nice, sexy looking muscle in the upper back. And at some or point- Or it to the side like this. Yeah, well, it's, it's a straight arm pull. It's like this. See that? Okay. Right, but the problem is after 12th to 13th rep, the neck activates. So there's that uncomfortable feeling in the neck. At that point, when your neck starts kicking in, I want you to lower the resistance of the band and only isolate that muscle. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, if you look at my slight profile, chest is up, shoulder blades is engaged, right? When I pull, my elbows are high. But the problem is, after 12, 13 reps, the neck kicks in and this is where we have to only learn to activate and isolate the right muscle. How many of these? We'll go for 20, and if we can do more with good form, we'll do more. Squeeze. Good. I'm keeping the neck out of the equation.
It's a little bit of the neck kicked in, but. 18. 18. Good. 19. Good job with the elbows. 20. All right, did you activate the neck or no? Everything was in the muscle, right? It was in my shoulders. Perfect, so you, you're good then. All right, remember the slow contract of 15 push-ups? On the coach's count. Belly in, chest up. Shoulder blades in. And one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. Ooh. Did you activate the pecs? Uh, yes. My back, the pecs. I always feel it a lot in between my shoulder blades. Well, you're engaging oh. your shoulder blades, right? You're pinching I your shoulder be. blades. Yeah, yeah, you must be, you must be. Let's go to um, 20 for your hamstrings and we're gonna repeat one more round. Tell me you feel it. How is the activation? Good. With these, every time I do these, I concentrate so hard on my breath because they're not easy. That's what I try to do. Okay. So remember, this is all this is all sculpting. This whole workout is about muscle activation, right? So, do you remember the the palm palm down row? We're gonna do one more round for twenty reps. The ones that work, the ones where I'm going like this. Yeah, yeah, for the back of the shoulders and the other back. Okay, so chest up, shoulder blades in. One, two, three, four. Get ready to hold it, hold it. 
And number five. Five, four, three, two. Ooh. Tell me about that. What you're saying is you're a badass. <laughs> That's what you're really trying to do. Yeah, so I wasn't doing them correctly, one of the two. I'd go with the first one. Okay, so I'm going to push your tricep muscle to the next level. This is going to be tough for you, so I'm just going to pre-warn you. The tricep is a bigger muscle than the bicep, right? So if you want... Bicep is this one, the back. Right, it's a bigger muscle than the bicep. So if you want a more toned or um, muscular looking arm, you gotta go through where the most investment is, right? And this is where I'm gonna show you on how to take it to the next level. But if, if I see you compromising form, we're gonna go back to the foundation, which is what we've been doing. So that's. That's the condition. So here's how you take it to the next level. <clears throat> There's two parts to it. One part is with only one leg up in the air and one on the floor. The other portion of it is and if you notice, I'm about an inch, maybe an inch and a half short of squeezing or locking the elbow joint. I want you to go down and then I want you to stop right before you lock the elbow joint. And then if you see, I'm keeping that tension constantly in the arm. Okay? So, I want you to really feel and put that brain into that. Large okay, portion. one leg up, and I'm just gonna go short. Yeah, and you're, and, well, you know, let's not call it short. You're gonna call it, you're gonna stop right before you lock the elbow joint, yeah? Okay, because it's not really short, it's just unlocking. Okay, three, two, one, go. I hold it right before you lock the elbow joint. Two, focus. Three, keep your chest up for me, keep your chest up. Four, five. I feel it in my leg a lot. <laughs> yep, your glute is working. Six, seven, uh, eight, four more. Three, two, one. Ooh. And it hits exactly in the back of the arm where the most weight is. I felt it a lot on my shoulders. That's, ex that's expected too because of everything else you did, right? Okay. Okay, drop down, give me 15 push ups. Slow. Nice and slow. Do you think I did those correctly or was it I just did? The dips? Yeah. Uh, with the push-ups, I need your chest to go all the way down though. <sighs> Slow down, girl. Slow down. Remember, I want you to activate your chest muscles a lot more. And feel them. Perfect. Nice and slow. Get that chest all the way down, though. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. <sighs> okay, so let me guess. In addition to the pec activation, you were already activating or pre-activated the tricep. It was already kicking in, right? Yes. Okay, so now we're gonna to go to 
seated row, and we're going to go back to the underhand and reopen everything, pull everything okay. back. How many? Uh, a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Tw 20 good reps. Okay, I'm just doing these the normal way, right? Like, not the normal way, but the ones I always do. Yeah, on the hands. So, on the coach's count. Okay, posture straight, chest up. Three, two, one. Squeeze. Get his elbows further back for me. Two. Three. Four. Squeeze. Five. Six. Perfect. Seven. Perfect. Eight. Nine. Extra squeeze on the upper back. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 5 more to go, on the 20th one we're going to hold it, 3, whew, 2, 1, hold it, keep pulling, Three, two, one. Okay. Next, we're going to go for regular triceps for 12 dips, both feet on the floor. <laughs> on the coach's count, push your straight chest up. Shoulder blades in. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm telling you, I'm feeling the muscles. Okay. Twelve slow controlled push ups. Coaches count. Okay, posture good, and go one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh. Where did you feel that one? My chest. Okay, go back to one more round for 20 hamstrings on the sliders for you. And we, we got a concluding circuit coming up.
You're feeling it. Okay, concluding circuit. We're going to reopen everything in the posture from going here to here. So, pick the low resistance band. The low resistance. Yeah, it's going to be tough, so low is better than intermediate here. Now, when you, when you look at me, I'm pre-engaging my shoulder blades in, right? But I'm extending my arms out. So that's the secret. And watch this. 20. Okay, so that opens you up a little bit. Now watch this. On the chair. My chest is going to go beyond my arms and my shoulder joint. At this point, you're going to feel a nice little release in your lower back. Your hamstrings are probably going to feel the stretch. But most of all, I feel a stretch in my shoulder joint while my back is on the tabletop. And as soon as I rise up, you're going to notice two things. A, my shoulders and my posture is pulled back, which I can see in you. See that? I'm standing straight in. And it feels like my posture is a little bit more reset. Now we're going to go one step further. So grab onto the chair again. This time, once again, full tabletop, completely rigid in the back, and go further. What that really just means is move your chest down lower and enhance the stretch. And slowly release. Now basically, you've just set yourself up to have a completely straight posture Shoulders back, neck is straight. And now you can move on to the other stretch, which is grab the elbow, careful. Are you doing the neck stretch? No, we're doing the tricep stretch. Look at the elbow. Look oh, okay, elbow. I can't see you, so. Yeah, is it too sunny? No, you're ca the camera. What about now? Okay, now I can see it. Because if it's too sunny, I can have a word with the sun. No, no, it's, it's that you were too close to the camera. I only saw your chest. Okay. And rest. Okay, so... That's for the tricep. But look at the mobility of my shoulder joint. Go like this. That's because of the chair stretch. Okay? Once again, the right tricep. So now let's do the neck. Careful. Shrug that shoulder down.
and switch. Do you remember how to stretch your chest? No, not right now. <laughs> Do you remember that we did this before? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. On the wall, elbows on the wall, and I'm slowly leaning into it to promote a stretch in, your, in my pec muscle. But the caveat is you've got to bring that shoulder down. Do you feel it? Okay, one more time for the chair stretch. And because you did the ch uh, chest stretch, you're gonna notice you're gonna get a better feel out of it. So once again, full tabletop. And rest. And finally, one full stretch. And the chest goes all the way down. Two knees, grab the back. And rest. Well done. What does it say in your uh, calories and your watch? I know it's not estimate, but give all it to right, me anyway. So there's.